yeah what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys enjoyed the last video it was a little bit different than what we did here in the garage as far as car things go we did a little snack box review we did a little bit of a uh, nephew uncle driving and we did a little bit of a uh, pc unboxing today we're going to be headed to the junkyard because it has been quite a while that i've gone to the junkyard granted my workhorse has been out of commission but it is up and running and i am ready to head back over there to look for a couple of items that i've kind of just been putting off for some time now we've been uh we've been putting a little bit of work into the all-wheel drive crx right here guys and i'm about ready to move it off the driveway but before we do that i want to work on it a little bit more if you guys don't know i've mentioned this in the video when i did do it i really hate the hood prop yes this is a hood prop now a lot of people do it for looks i mean it was kind of proven a little bit that you know engine bay temp engine temp cooled down a little bit but not a lot i just don't like the way it looks now the pro tip here is if you're running a stock style hood and you're running b series with a cop kit on the hasport motor mounts i'm not sure if it's different with like ebay or innovative but with the hasport motor mounts the trick is to run d17 coil pack which comes on the 2002 plus civics you run a d17 coil packs with a spark plug cover to hold it down because you have to modify the coil pack itself to uh fit it between the valve cover all the way down to the top of the spark plug so a spark plug cover will hold it down and that is the goal today guys is to roll in the junkyard check out what they have over there find some d17 coil pack normally it's the first thing to go but crossing fingers we find some today so i'm not looking for anything special today other than the coil packs but I am gonna walk around the yard and see what's here. Miata, Max Pini Rod coilovers. <laughs> Be sure to hit the link in the description below and use discount code YSTATIC to save a little bit on your Max Pini product. There's this really nice clean TOEG here in the yard. Unfortunately, it's in its resting grounds, but all stock, all original. Let's go find that Civic. I know this car just came in. It had a Type R lip on it, but that's gone. Oh, it's got True Hearts. Yeah, that's True Hearts. Hmm. I believe this car is automatic. Yep. Automatic. We don't have any engines, do we? But there is one coal pack right here. Oh, there's a second one. <laughs> All right, let's... <laughs> right there. One more, let's go. One more. Oh, it's right there on the floor. <laughs> All right, well, that kind of cut the work out for us. A little oily, but I'm gonna continue walking the rest of the yard. Back when I had an EF sedan, man, black interior was super hard to find because they only came in the red model. And this one has all four door panels, non-ripped, and the carpet is so freaking clean. Damn, I wish, I wish I had all the money to take this entire interior, back seats and all. I close my eyes and walk away. On the other hand, I'm gonna take the door handle because this is the best way to delete the keyhole so pretty simple screw 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 and then the rest are clips aside from that Thank you. 
antenna block off. Taking that as well. This Delso seat is kind of ripped, but the bolster is still there and most of the fabric is still here. Somebody tried stitching it, didn't do a good job, but all the fabric is here. So it's a no brainer. I am 100% taking the seats. If you guys didn't know, Delso seats are one of the OEM Honda lowest seats aside from the um, CRX SIs, at least from my experience. So I'm definitely taking these seats. I am at the last row. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna carry all of this to the front. Custom ported sub box for the Delso with two JL audio. So I put the seats together. They're pretty light, honestly. And I tied a power cable to it. I'm going to see if I can carry it all the way to the front. So I just left the junkyard and uh, I paid $197. The door handles were $14.99 each, $30 bucks for two. Uh, the coil packs were $12.99 each. I paid for all four. And the seats were about $50 bucks each. Tax fees, environmental fee, all the extra BS, I paid $197. Now, I'm not mad because, you know, the seats are really clean and they can flip for a lot of money, although I may use it for a different car. Uh, it's nice to have a set of Delso seats again. But I'm about to head back home right now. Um, the sky has been super gloomy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm about to head back home and see if I can work on the uh, red CRX a little bit. And hopefully those coil packs are in good condition. So I went to Harbor Freight to grab an engine stand because that one is occupied with the K20, this Marasaka, and then the other one is occupied with my Type R, this Marasaka. I want to get the K24 on an engine stand, which is going to be going into the KRX, this one right here. and. I want to do the oil pump, which you can see right there. I got to order the chain tensioner and all that to change out as well. And then I got to pull the pan off to bung it for a dash 10. So I'm going to set up this uh, engine stand real quick and then uh, we'll get to trying to fit the coil packs into the CRX. This one is the half ton version, thousand pounds, and it has this little like leg up in the front right here where my other ones are also Harbor Freight they're just straight across they don't have the little cross um uh, two extra wheels in the front so hopefully storing this thing in the garage is not going to be complicated like taking up a lot of room so so i'm going to try to put this together without using the instruction because sometimes i'm hard-headed and i like the uh more complicated things So out of the eight that I took out of the car, I took the four cleanest one that didn't have oil like dripping down the seals. So I think I paid $12.99 each for these, which is crazy to say, but it is what it is. It's better than buying individually brand new because they cost a lot more than $12 each. So I believe these plugs are the same. And what I was told is that 
this has to be cut off in order to fit into the width of where the sprog plug wires usually sit so if you look at this it's a little more narrow but i'm going to show you guys pretty much how i'm going to modify these to fit in the b series and secure them down so i'm using the nomus industries cop kit it's the hunter rules little chipboard that goes on top of your ecu it could be stock it could be chip it could be chrome it could be on data as long as it's an obd1 ecu the uh cop mini kit will solder into those board and uh if you want to buy the kit from nomus industry his link is always in the description below you can get the kit which comes with uh coal packs you can request spark plugs as well but it comes with a harness and it comes with the kit to solder into your ecu but if you don't solder yourself you can send the ecu into nomus industry and he'll take care of all that for you so i'm going to be taking off the whole entire plate with the coils on there because we're not going to be using any of those anymore but i am going to Obviously, you still use the plug, but I need to take off these nuts first. These nuts? <laughs> Got it! <he. laughs> One, two, three, four. Pop this up a little bit. And this whole thing comes off as one piece. So if you look, this is the D17 coil pack, single cam coil pack. And uh, these, I believe, come on the O2 Plus Civics. So if you look, it's a little bit wider than the K-Series coil pack, right? Especially with that tab. So what I was told is that this is the perfect length to go all the way down, except you can see where it's hitting. So we need to modify each and every one of these tabs to get this seated all the way down top of the spark plug and then i'll show you guys the cover part but first let's clean these you guys already know me trusty oven cleaner stay away from the electrical port So I'm going to cut this flange off almost close to the body so it's like nice and uniform, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to use a grinder in this case because I'm a dumbass. A smart person would use a Dremel and take your time, but um, I just like to get things done. Grinders faster. Safety glasses, guys. Don't forget because plastic are going to be slinging everywhere. And I'm doing this freehanded because, again, I'm an idiot. Okay, that wasn't bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the flap disc to clean that edge up a little bit. Again, don't be an idiot like me. You don't use brake cleaner on plastic. <laughs> just don't do it. The K-Series and D-Series coil pack has the same plug, so my current harness would just plug right into it perfectly, clips on, does not come off. By the looks of it, it doesn't seem like I have to remove this grommet because it almost bottoms out before even touching that, so... That's definitely clicked in. It doesn't, it doesn't even want to pop up unless you put some force into it. That's good. Numero tres. Nice and flush. Flushed. It's pretty firm in here to be honest with you guys. That is pretty firm in there. So the coal pack is in place. Before I put the cover on, I wanna make sure that the car turns on, sounds good, idles fine, to know that these are seated all the way down or if I need to go further. So I'm gonna grab my keys and 
Let's fire the car over. Yeah, brother so I got this front foot cover right here it's painted black and I don't think it uh I don't think it looks too bad in the engine bay since there's a lot of black components in here already so the front foot cover is pretty much very snug to the top of the coil pack so that's going to ensure that it's not going to pop up but make sure that you're not going to clip any of the wiring so I'm just going to move some around here put that on Get some castle nut bolts. I got some nuts in here somewhere. Let me see, let me see. Actually, I'm not scratching my butt, guys. Get your mind out of the gutter. When I was pulling those coil packs out of the junkyard, I took the nuts with it, and these are black. So they're gonna look really nice on here. Yes, sir. Got these eBay 10 mil bolts. I think it'll kind of match the whole theme of black and chrome thing going on right here. These are literally fender washers from Skunk 2 Racing. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. This is carbon fiber, so I gotta close the hood from right here so it doesn't break the carbon. <laughs> yes, sir. This one is a little bit propped only because it has the hood shock on this side, so it's never gonna sit flush. But this side though, Yes, sir. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I don't like recording stupid stuff sometimes, but I think this one's clever. Have certainly been challenging for all the time. I don't know how hot this shit's got to go hella high, dude. Uh oh. I don't know about YouTube, but this is ultra dangerous. Oh, oh, oh shit, what was that? What was that? <laughs> Holy mackerel, we gotta go up another goddamn foot, dude. What's the saying? It's not dumb if it works, right? It ain't dumb if it works. We got the K24 up on the engine stand, guys. And I think what I'm gonna do uh, tomorrow is I'm gonna move the all-wheel drive car out. I'm gonna push the KRX up into the driveway and uh, I'm still waiting for parts like I mentioned earlier in this video that we're gonna be changing on the 24 before it goes into the KRX. So in the meantime, in between waiting parts, cause we don't waste days here unless, unless I'm really taking a break. But um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tear out the dashboard so I could do all of the heater control stuff relocate my prop valve because it's behind the firewall and in place of where the heater stuff normally sits this time around when I do the KRX I want all that stuff back in the car so I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow again unless I take a break because Sunday is supposed to be relaxed days and I do need to edit vlogs for the upcoming week but that is gonna wrap it up for today's video guys we Went to the junkyard, we scored Delso seats, and then we got back with some D17 coil packs. We got rid of the hood risers. We got the hood to close properly. Coil pack still turns the car on. It sounds crispy. It is ready for dyno. And we got the K24 on its new engine stand for the future maintenance stuff. So if you guys enjoyed today's progress, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna stick around and see what all we do with the KRX in the next video upcoming here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.